Happy Euphoria Day! Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to watch Euphoria season two, episode one. Most people who are fans of this show have been waiting for a super long time for season two to drop. I, however, was a bit of a late bloomer. I did not start watching Euphoria until like four days ago <laughs> and I was instantly obsessed. And now we're back, season two, baby. So to recap season one, where are we? Where is everyone? Jules just left Rue at the train station. How rude of her, honestly, kind of mad about that. It's fine. Like you just don't do that. You just don't do that to a person. Rue has relapsed. What else? What else? Cassie got an abortion. I'm very eager to see how they tell that story and how that affects her character throughout this season. A little worried about Fez. A little scared for him. Can't wait to see more Lexi, my favorite, my pride and joy, my best friend. She's precious to me. The second I saw her dressed as Bob Ross on Halloween, I just... I'm in love with her. Who else did I forget? Oh, Nate. Fuck Nate. Nate's a fucking asshole. I hope Nate gets fucking beat to death in this episode. I know something you don't. I know something you will never know. Today my makeup is inspired by Maddie. Please respect it, enjoy it. It took me like two hours to put this on my face. The commitment, the commitment is here. Anyways, let's just watch the show. I am ready. Am I ready? Am I ready? Who wants to get depressed with me? Fesco's grandma was a motherfucking G. Okay. I am loving this. Oh, yes. What an introduction. She's just walking through with a gun, like, it's cool. Totally normal thing to be doing. Hey, fuck face. These crazy. Oh my god, I I am in love with this woman. Is this Fez's grandmother? Is that who this is supposed to be? We stand, we stand. I just spoke to your daddy. You're gonna come live with grandma now. What a badass. Did you speak to him? Did you speak to his daddy? I mean, actions speak louder than words, I guess you could say. Blockbuster. She taught him everything he knew about life. Pops ain't gonna pat down a fucking 10 year old. She's got a point. And then one day, he came home from school. He didn't know who the baby was. So much always happened so fast, he decided it was better not to ask questions. What? What are you doing? He brings a kid to a drug deal. He ain't a kid, asshole. He's my partner. Call me when his mama gets here. But she never came back to pick him up. Oh. Well, that's depressing. You fuck me. This is a great introduction. I am loving this vibe for the season. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? He's eating fucking cigarettes. What are you, a little fucking ashtray? I cannot imagine growing up like this, like being raised by your grandmother who teaches you how to be a drug dealer and then you just grow up into that life. Like, it makes a lot of sense why Fez is the way that he is, but like, I, I cannot even grasp what that must have been like. But it's crazy because like, people do actually live like this. Like, there are people who raise their kids to do what they do and to sell drugs and it's fucking crazy. Fez doesn't know why he did what he did. Jesus. <gasps> he didn't really remember anything for at least two months. Just an occasional image and an overwhelming fear about who was going to take care of Ashtray. I don't feel too good. Let me lay down. He found his grandma on the floor of the bathroom. The next thing he knew, he had a business to run. I cannot even. Like, if this happened to me. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Honestly, still don't really respect the lifestyle. Don't support it. I respect his work ethic, his resilience, his ability to do all this and not lose his fucking mind. I do like Fez's character. I, I sympathize with him. I feel for him, but like, get out of there, man. He loved him like a brother. And when shit went down, he'd go to war like a brother. Who 
am I? Oh shit. Yes, ashtray. Go ashtray. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so stressed. <laughs> oh, <do> what she <laughs> said. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh my god. Is he dead? With a hammer? Fat motherfucker. Wow. Wow. What an entrance. So fuck your bitch. In the click you play. West. We're, we're in it. We're in it now. Ooh. The face of disappointment. Come on, girl. Get your shit together. I'm Faye. Faye, I'm uh, Rue. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. She left me. Straight up. She left you at a fucking train station? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, Faye. She gets it. She, girl, you have way too much lip filler. Like, way too much lip filler. Like, some someone did you dirty, girl. You're just a fucking junky ass bitch, and you're probably fucking eating that ginger's ass for fucking oxys or whatever the fuck you're into. <laughs> what is happening? Who are these people? I'm so stressed. I don't even know what's going on. We are not involved with any illegal activity doubt that why is rue with them like she's not involved in any Brucey. of this stuff like why why would she just tag along for this seemingly very dangerous and stupid mission whatever it is that they're doing who is that what is happening everything is so mysterious same same oh y'all let's get naked right fucking now uh Come on. You heard what the fuck he said. Come on. Come on, let's go. Everybody, let's go. Undress. Obviously, I'm not wearing a fucking Why Are You Paranoid? Ah! Hey! Oh my god. I'm so stressed. Why are you dancing? I am so uncomfortable. Why are we here? What has brought us here? Someone tell me what's happening. This guy's just back here vibing. He doesn't even know what's going on. I never met a fucking dope dad hooker. Crazy take a look at his clothes off. I promise I wasn't I hate everything that's happening. I hate it. Take your fucking pants off. I hate this man. I want him to die. So now what? Hey. <laughs> Lori. It's really good to see you again. Um, that's my family. So you trust her? With my life. Aw, Fez loves Rue. I'm a fool to do your dirty work. Oh yeah. Sorry about all the hum on guys. Just being careful. This woman is so weird. Honestly, that was the crazy shit I've ever experienced. What was it? The fucking dude with the long hair and the fucking gun? What was his deal? That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, serious question. How many female drug dealers do you know? Good ones. Yes. One. Case in point. Shit's gotta change. She's like, you know, this drug dealer business, really, really run by the patriarchy. We gotta get some females up in here. There she is. <laughs> oh, so Rue's hiding from Jules. Sure, makes sense. I love Cassie. Like, protect Cassie at all costs. How are you doing tonight? Terrible. Word. This is a vibe. Eating powdered sugar donuts on the curb on New Year's Eve by yourself. A vibe. Oh, fuck you, Nate. I hope you die. Look at that stupid fucking face. Just wanna. What's up, Cassie? Go away. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Stop, she's clearly already very drunk. Ew, ew, who does that? I don't like this. I don't like this weird friendship that's happening between Nate, Nate. First of all, please stop opening beer bottles with your mouth. It makes me want to vomit. Second of all, you're driving. Stop drinking and driving. I swear to God, if he hurts Cassie, I'm, mm, ooh. Nope, nope, no, nope, nope, nope. Mother hen activate. Oh, I'm nervous. Stop, stop, slow down. Ah! I'm stressed. Soul leaving my body. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my God. Oh my God. Something horrible is about to happen. What are you doing? Cassie. 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 No, no, no. Don't look at him like that. He's a fucking asshole. Well, at least they didn't crash and die. Uh, just a sec. 
You are both so dumb. Poor Maddie. Open the fucking door, Nate. I have to pee. I'm fucking crying. There's no fucking reason to cry. You haven't been caught. Shut the fuck up, Nate. God, I hate you. I'm loving Lexi's outfit. What was your name again? Lexi. I like that. That's a nice name. <laughs> I kind of love this friendship. Like I want, I ship this for some reason, but also stay away from Lexi. She is so pure. That's why I love her so much. I feel like, is this what high school is like now? My high school experience was not like this. We did not have parties like this. This was never a thing. I don't think I've ever been to a party like this in my whole life, actually. But I'm also like, I, I just like to stay home and play video games, you know what I mean? I'm so scared, I'm really scared, Nate. Jesus, Maddie, relentless. No, 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 Rue, no, 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 no. What were you snorting? I wasn't fixing this washing machine, actually. I work for a uh, Whirlpool. <laughs> I don't know who that character is, but I feel like I'm gonna love him. Oh, Cassie. I mean, I don't really feel bad for you. You put yourself in this situation. <sighs> Rue. Oh. Oh, no. You all right? I just think I'm gonna need you to check my pulse. Are you? Are you for real? 56. Sheesh. Oh, I think I might be going into cardiac arrest. Are you fucking serious? Do you want me to call an ambulance? Uh, just at her all just Rue, no. I mean, like, at least she knows what's happening and that she's having a problem, but uh, also go to the hospital, please. I feel like going into cardiac arrest is not fixed by Adderall. I know your name is Travis. Oh my god, this ha they're ha this is happening in the bathroom and she's still in the tub? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dude, call an ambulance. Oh my god, so much is happening. I'm so stressed out. Also, side note, loving Jules's haircut. I know, not really important right now, but I'm a fan. Oh, there's my heart. Hello, heart. This poor guy is like, what? I'm not sure it's a good thing we met. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're my new favorite person. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die for a second there. <laughs> He's like, this bitch is crazy. You say the Christians stole Christmas? In order to convert the Germanic pagans who like celebrated winter solstice and stuff, the Christians were like, fuck it, let's just say Jesus was born this day and you can hang tinsel and stuff. I love Lexi, she's so precious. You fucking fearless. Thanks. I love this friendship. I don't know why. I'm just loving it. Hell yeah, I believe in God. There's a man sitting in the clouds judging all of your actions and stuff. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, what are you doing? You are so creepy. It's just lurking, loitering, being fucking weird. I hate him. Did you find her? No. Cat looks so pretty. Stop. Lying. Not listening to the radio. Stop. I am so stressed. I am going to die. Oh my god, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> ah! No, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, my god. check it out. Some girl like passed out of here. Who cares? You wanna dance? Oh, thank god, Maddie's such a bitch. Up in here. Up in here. Oh my god. Sorry. Just the fuck there he is. <laughs> oh, they're oh, so cute. Oh, they're in love. So disgusting. Ah! Where'd you go? I was starting to miss you. <laughs> you like the coolest person in here. True. Oh my god, I love them. Why are they adorable? Things I did not expect. That. I just want to hug Cassie. Just, just give her a big hug. She need a hug. Oh no. The confrontation. It's happening. Rue? Hey. Why was that so stressful? Why is everything in this episode so fucking stressful? Yo, you fuck her? Oh man, you trying to tell me you took her in that room and you didn't dick her down? I literally hate your guts, Nate. 
Are you trying to tell me that you didn't miss those titties? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god, I hate men. I hate men. Oh, no, you were a condom? <laughs> you dirty motherfucker. Oh, he knows. He knows. He knows. It's not it's none of your business, Nathaniel. God, I hate him. God, I hate him. So. How you doing? I'm good. When did you relapse? You want me to be honest? Yeah. The night you left. <gasps> I literally am gonna die. I need an ambulance. I, I just want to tell you that talking to you was one of the best parts of my whole year. Can I like get your phone number or something? Yeah. Why are they so cute? Oh, but Fez, he's gonna corrupt her. He's gonna corrupt her beautiful, precious little soul. But also I love them. I'm so conflicted. Yo, Fez said if you wanna ride now's the time. I guess I gotta go. Oh, so that's why Rue was with them, because she needed a ride home from the party. I just really missed you. I never really said it before. But I want to be with you. Don't end it like that. Don't you dare end the episode like that. Don't you dare. Yeah, baby! Ooh! So cinematic. Oh, I love it. Oh, they love each other! You having a good time? The last time we talked, didn't you say you wanted to kill me? Your new year, playboy. Oh! Yes! 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 Oh my god! Holy! Oh! I am so thankful that someone beat the shit out of him, but also, what the? Damn. I just died wow. Your own. The song. Ah! Are you fucking kidding? Wow. 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 Okay, season two, starting off with a bang. Wow. I realized that my camera died and my microphone stopped working like at the same time while I was ranting and I have no idea where I, where I left off. But um, I was in the middle of freaking out over Jules and Rue and their kiss and the kiss and the beautiful kiss and it was just so perfect and I... <laughs> there was always that thing where it was like, Jules wanted Rue to kiss her, but then like, Jules, you can kiss her. Like you, you have the capability of doing that. But then they just like, they just kissed each other. And it was like this beautiful moment and the, the, with the lights behind them and ah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that they're just like being honest with each other. And Jules obviously feels the weight of the responsibility for Rue's relapse, which is like fair, but also kind of Rue's fault, but it was triggered by Jules. But I hope like them getting right together makes Rue go clean again and stay clean. And I really hope that happens because I love them together and they're so cute. Uh, but yeah, highlight of that episode, Fez beating the ever loving shit out of Nate. Just breaking his face, breaking that beautiful, pretty little face. What a way to end the episode. Wow. And that's it. That's it for episode one of season two. I am loving it. I am so stressed. That really stressed me out. Like that whole episode, I was just like, Cassie hiding in the bathtub. Nate just lurk, just Nate, just Nate existing. 
stresses me out. We didn't get very much of Kat. I would like to get more of her. I'm assuming that will happen. I mean, a lot happened in this episode, so we couldn't cover everybody. But I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching season two, episode one with me. And I will probably make another video next week for episode two. So look out for that. Also, I will not be doing a commentary for season one, obviously, because I literally just watched it. I've just, I kind of missed the boat on that one. But if you do want to watch some amazing commentary for season one of Euphoria, I highly, highly recommend that you check out Ashley's channel. She did every single episode and her commentary is just goals. The commentary goddess has spoken. Bow down to her. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs>